Yo, yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy. The dating game was good. So this audio, I'm going to be talking about five mistakes men make at the bar or club scene. All right, because it, it's so it's so crazy. Like, I went I went out last night to this to this spot. It was a club. And it was crazy because I, I haven't been in a club in a minute, but I've been, you know, I go to a lot of bars and stuff here and there, but it's been it's been a minute. Since I've been actually like spending time in a club, you know what I'm saying? And the thing was, I was like, you know, this should be interesting. Maybe things have changed. Maybe it's a little different, you know, certain, but it's like I, I'm seeing the same things happening in the club, you know, and the bar scene or whatever, you know, that I've seen when I was going to them frequently. So it's like, you know, it's, it's still the same type of shit happening. And I'm just like, man, so the thing is, I wanted to make this audio for you guys to, you know, to really understand, like, some of the things you shouldn't really be doing that's going to mess up your game. Because this basically pertains to you guys going out to the clubs trying to get chicks, okay? That's basically what this is. So, I want to tell you, you know, certain things that you shouldn't do, some, some, some of the mistakes that guys are making. And, you know, so you can avoid these mistakes, I. Right? So this is in no particular order, but I'm gonna, you know, do the countdown from five to one. So number five, and and you know, this has been talked about to death, but I'm gonna just, you know, get this out the way. Number five, buying women drinks. So that's a mistake right there. Stop buying women drinks. And the reason why it's a mistake is because a lot of you guys, there's there's a lot of guys that still think that buying women a drink is the way to actually get her attracted to you or they feel like it's an easy way to get into a conversation or they feel like the woman's going to like them more because, you know, you're buying her a drink. You understand? And buying a woman a drink is the equivalent of just taking your money and throwing it in the garbage in most cases. You understand? Because the reason why most of you guys are buying the woman to drink is because of the reasons I stated. You want to you want to get with her, you want to holler at her, you want to, you know, do shit with her. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of times the chicks they'll take your drink because you're buying it for them because it's free. They get a free drink. Also, sometimes you'll buy a chick a drink and you don't even know that her man is on the other side of the club and then she's going to just take the drink back to her man and then he'll drink it. I've seen this shit happen, uh, you know, numerous times. You understand? Or sometimes, you know, you buy the girl the drink, she'll chit chat with you for about two minutes and then she's like, well, thanks for the drink. And then she just walks away. And a lot of guys try to act like, oh, no, it's OK, whatever. I, you know, I got it like that. I'm balling. It don't matter. But the thing is, is that, you know, you're basically, like I said, you're throwing the money in the garbage because you didn't need to buy her that drink to have that conversation. You understand? You didn't need to buy her that drink to to have that interaction with her. You don't need to buy a chick a drink to have her interested in you. You understand? So you guys buying drinks, it don't, you know, it, it makes it even worse for you because now she's looking at you like, oh, this guy's trying to buy me a drink because he's trying to holla. You got to understand, like, Chicks are hip to the game, man. They're not stupid. They know why you're doing this stuff. So if you're doing that, she's going to look at you like, well, this is his game. This is all, this is what he does. You know, this is, this is how he's coming at it. So she's thinking that you don't have any game because you have to compensate by buying her drink. So guys, keep your money in your pocket, buy your own drinks, drink. I remember one time I'm at the spot and you know, the spot one time and this chick, I'm sitting there near the bar, I'm drinking and shit. And this chick, you know, we talking or whatever, and then she's throwing all these hints, talking about, oh, I'm so thirsty, and oh my goodness, you know, that drink looks good, you know, I'm I'm really thirsty right now, and I just looked at her, I was like, yeah, you, you know, if you're thirsty, you should buy yourself a drink, you know, so I'm just like, just like that, because I'm letting her know, like, I'm not buying you shit, <laughs> you understand, so don't buy these women drinks, okay, number four, fourth, uh, the fourth mistake, or we're going down number four, is hovering over women hovering over women so i see this a lot where you know you're in a spot and then you see like some girls talking or you're near a couple of girls and you want to talk to them so bad you want to talk to one of them you want to talk to the group or you want you want to say something you want to be in a conversation you want to start something going but you're not really 
you're not doing anything. You're just kind of there and you're standing near them and you're kind of looking at them and you, and they can tell that you want to say something, but you don't say something. You're just hovering over them and it makes you look weak and it makes, it makes the, the chicks see you as like, you know, like you're not confident on some, they're like, Oh, this guy is, why is this guy, you know, next to us and he's you know he's not he's not saying anything he's just there staring you know what i'm saying and it and it and it, and it comes off weird so you know don't hover over chicks because see a lot of times what guys do yeah you, you get so close to them and then you're scared to actually have a conversation or approach or you see a couple of girls having a conversation let's say there's like three girls talking and you're standing there with your friend or whatever you know, you and your friend and y'all looking at them and y'all kind of like around them. And instead of putting yourself into the conversation, you just kind of stand there and like look at them and you're like right over them, you know, and it just is, it is just like this weird energy. And the thing is, a lot of guys do that because they are, you know, they want to be in the vicinity of the woman, but they're scared to talk. And the thing is, a lot of times guys, they don't know how to, you know, engage the woman or break the ice so they're like i don't know what to say and the thing is is that a lot of guys think they're they might be like interrupting um you know their the conversation the woman is having or with her friends or they feel like they're bothering the woman if they t go up and talk to them and you you gotta learn you know how to just basically go into the conversation a lot of times when i'm you know like last night i was at the spot and it was these three girls that came in you know, they, they, they was cute or whatever, you know, so it was by the bar and they was talking, they was yapping, yapping, yapping. And I just went straight into that. I said, yo, what y'all talking about? That just, I was like, what's going on? What y'all talking about? And then they're like, oh, we're talking about this, blah, blah, blah. And then we start having a conversation. So, you know, all four of us, we just sitting there talking and shit and going back and forth or whatever. So it's, you know, these girls come there for you to talk to them. They want to talk to you. Even if you run into chicks who's on some bullshit, even if you run into chicks who's, you know, got a stink attitude. So what? There's a lot of girls in the spot. You just go up and talk. Do not hover around them and, and you know, and and be on some weird shit, you know, just looking over their shoulder like a damn serial killer or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you're around the chicks and they're there, they know that you're staring at them. They know that you're checking them out. They know that. So just go and talk and say something. Don't hover around them because the longer you hesitate and they can tell you're hesitating, you know, and, and let's say one of the girls is actually attracted to you or something. Now she's looking at you like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like, why is he, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, do not hover over the chicks. Okay. All right. Number three and with mistakes that men make at the bar slash club is giving the bartender too much attention. And I mean, female bartender. Okay. Cause a lot of times you go to these spots and they have a really hot bartender, you know, or a, a hot chick at the bar, you know, doing what she do. And what I noticed even last night, I'm chilling at the spot and you know, when I got, when I first got in there, I was hungry. So I went to the bar and I just got, I got me a soda because I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to stop drinking. <laughs> so I'm drinking a soda and I got some cheese fries and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at the bar chilling, eating the cheese fries and got the soda or whatever. And, you know, there's this dude that st stands next to me. And what happens is, is that he, he, uh, you know, he's talking to the bartender, asking her, yeah, you know, let me get this drink, whatever, whatever. And then she's trying to, you know, she gets his order and she goes to some other people on the other side of the bar getting their order, whatever, whatever. And the dude, he, you know, he's flirting with her and ain't nothing wrong with flirting with the chick. It's whatever. Right. So then he flirts with her and then he goes, he, he's finished his drink and he, he comes back to the bar and then he goes to her and he's not even like buying another drink. He's trying to holler, you know what I'm saying? And then she's like, you know, can I help you on anything? And then he's like, oh, you know, what's up with you? And you know, blah, 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 trying to holler. But then she got all these other customers. So she's like, excuse me for a second. She goes to the other spot, part of the bar, handles the customers. So then this dude still stands there and you know, he's, he's waiting for her to come back. So then she comes back around and you know, she's expecting him to buy something, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's at the bar. And then he's still just trying to holler and she's like, you know, she's being cordial to him. She's not being, you know, she's being all like regular. But the thing with, with his mistake was 
when he first came to the bar, up to the bar, you know, she was talking to him and, you know, laughing with him or whatever. So I guess he took that as a sign of interest. But, you know, I'm looking at dude, I'm like, yo, she's the bartender. She works here. So she's got to act like that towards you. You understand? She has to act nice and smiley and all this other stuff. So it doesn't necessarily mean she's interested in you. It just means that she is at work doing her work thing. You understand? So I'm not saying you can't holler at the bartender, but you know, there's a way that you do it. But the thing is that this guy is, was just giving way too much attention to this bartender chick and she's like working. So like, and it was funny because it was like, I, it was like the, the bartender chick gave me this look like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And I'm just like, yo, this shit is hilarious. You know what I mean? And then the funny part was when the guy had left the, you know, the, the, the bar, he went back to the other side of the club and shit, you know, the bartender is talking to me cause I'm sitting there eating the cheese fries or whatever. And, you know, we're talking about, you know, just regular shit and all this other stuff. And then, you know, she brings up the fact of, of what I'm talking about right now, where it's like, you know, she's like, yeah, you know, guys, you're trying to holler, but it's like, I'm, I'm at work, so I can't really, you know, and sometimes it's not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to get with them, but I just got to act nice as I'm at work. You know what I mean? And the thing is for you guys, FYI, if you want to, you know, fuck with a bartender, if you're at, you know, this because there's a, a, a specific situation, like, let's say if you're at a bar and it's not busy and it's like you and like two other people at the bar and then it's the bartender, then yes, you can have a conversation and do all of that shit because she's not, re there's nobody else there. You know what I'm saying? To take her attention away from you. You understand? But, you know, generally, generally speaking, if you want to, you know, holler at a bartender, have a card or something with your number on it. When you order your drink, be like, listen, yo, I know you're working right now. You know, you're looking kind of cute. Here's my card. You know, we should get together sometime. Or if you are still at the bar or the club or wherever around the time when it's about to close or some shit, you know, in, 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 then, you know, you see that the, the bartender's still there. Be like, yo, you know, what time you get off? You should go get some breakfast or something, you know, but don't, don't actually stay at the club or bar if, until like four in the morning or whatever it closes to try to get with her. I'm just saying that if by chance you are still there hanging out or whatever, and then you can see the club is about to close down and you want to holler at her, then you can holler at her at that point. But the thing was with this guy, he's up there, you know, yapping, 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 trying to, you know, holler at her while she's like and then it, she's she has to go back and forth and doing her shit you know what i'm saying and he doesn't realize that she's just co kind of being nice to him you know because it's her job you feel what i'm saying so if you guys are out there you see some hot bartenders you know if you want to spit at them you know real quick here's my card yo you cute you know here's my you know get do this while she's giving you the drink you know what i'm saying and then you know do that or whatever you understand but other than that keep it moving all right now, number two, oh, and this, 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 oh, I, oh, I hate when, when I see guys do this shit. This is like the, the, the worst mistake, I think, is talking to the same girl or group of girls the whole night. Do not ever, 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 yes, ever. Talk to the same girl or group of girls all night. Don't do this. The reason why you do not do this. If you're out there trying to, you know, get laid, you know, trying to pick up a couple girls or whatever. You know, if you're talking to the same girl all night, you are missing out on other women you can be talking to other women who potentially could like you because you have to understand something just because a girl is giving you cooperation by having a conversation with you at a club or a bar does not necessarily mean she is into you you understand now there are certain signs where a chick might you know she's might be a little flirty whatever whatever but it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean she's into you or it doesn't necessarily mean she's going to take it anywhere meaning doesn't necessarily mean you're going to end up having sex with her or whatever, because she could have a boyfriend at home and she's just, you know, using you for its, your attention, or she's just having a conversation with you because you are giving her attention. So you got to understand this, like the difference between guys and girls, man, us, us men, we, 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 we kind of go out, we have 
a spe- like we have an agenda. Women sort of have an agenda, but we have an agenda that we're actually like actively trying to accomplish. Women will have an agenda, but it's kind of like, well, if it happens, it happens, you know, in the, but they're not really like, you know, really doing that much to make their agenda happen. So, for example, you have an agenda to go out and meet some chicks, probably to bring them back home to your place and have sex with that night or get some numbers. Right now, the girl, she has an agenda to go out and you know have some fun with her girlfriends they always say that bullshit but it's really they trying to meet a man you understand but the thing is is that if they don't meet the guy that they really want to be with it's just like well it just didn't happen whatever right so the thing is that if you're just talking to the same girl or the same group of girls what's going to happen is is that girl who's talking to you will continue to keep talking to you even though she's not into you because she's not actively trying to get her agenda filled you understand what i'm saying even though you're not the guy she wants even just because you're giving her attention she'll still basically take the attention you understand so what happens is if you standing with some girl or you know you and your friend talking to these two girls for the for the past hour and a half two hours and all this other shit and then you're you know you're talking to them talking to them and then all of a sudden, you're like, yo, you know, we, let me get your number and, you know, give me a number. And she's like, oh, I can. I have a boyfriend, you know. And, and the funny part is I always find it hilarious how dudes will talk for, to chicks for that long and not find out if they got a boyfriend or not. But, you know, she'll be like, no, I have a boyfriend or no, I'm, you know, I'm not really looking for. Like, they come up with all this bullshit. So now you wasted, like, you know, damn near two hours in a spot talking to these chicks. And you could have been walking around spreading it and talking to different girls and seeing which ones you're clicking with seeing which ones are feeling you you understand so like usually when i when i you know if i go into a spot what i do is and 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 this is what i suggest a lot of you guys do is when you get into a spot you know talk to as many people as you can within the first you know like hour you're there or whatever if you're there for like a couple of hours two or three hours the first, when you first get in there just you know move around talk to this person talk to that hey how you doing blah 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 blah. and you know the thing is you got to learn how to you know uh end the conversation like hey you know yeah it was really good meeting you i'm gonna go around talk to some more people you know what i'm saying and then those people you talk to you'll still see them in the club or in the spot you know later that night so you know if you see some chicks that you're talking to you know, you don't have to stand there and talk to them for for hours and hours. You talk to them and you go talk to other people. Then you can go back and talk to them. Then you can go around and talk to other people because you have to spread it around. You have to, you know, um, um, open up your options because you don't want to be talking to a one chick all night and then she ends up being an, an attention whore. Don't do it. I and, and the thing is that, you know, a lot of guys who are who are new at really approaching girls or new at talking to women that don't really have that much experience make this mistake because they're just, ex- they're just happy to be talking to a girl that's re- that's talking back to them. So they're just like having a great old time, you know what I'm saying? But then what happens is later on when they're not getting the results they want, they're like, well, how come I'm still not getting ass? And the reason why is because you are spending too much time on this chick you just met. You understand what I'm saying? Because the thing is, even if you if you're into the chick, you know, you could be like, yo, listen, you know, you seem cool. Um, You know, here's my card. Give me a call or give me a number. And then she can let you know what the deal is at that point. And then you can but you can still move around and and talk to other girls. You see what I'm saying? And and, and the funny thing is, a lot of people, they, 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 they ask me like, Oh, but how do you talk to a girl and get her number and then get another girl's number in the same spot? Is she going to, aren't they going to like, you know, see that or whatever. And it doesn't really matter if you get, you're supposed to get as many girls numbers in a spot. You understand what I'm saying? You don't technically have to do it like right in front of the girl that you just got the number. You know what I'm saying? Because chicks is on that bullshit and they're going to feel all funny. But either way, it don't even even matter actually if you do that. Also, because, you know, sometimes I've done that where I got a chick's number and then there was another chick two feet away. I started talking to and the other chick. I got her number was like still right there. And I got the other girl's number. She saw it 
and it's still it don't matter because you don't you don't owe these chicks nothing. They're not your girl. It don't it don't it don't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. You understand what I'm saying? So you could do that, but then you have some chicks who are on that sensitive shit who they see that and they're like, oh, you're a player, and I say all this other dumb stuff. But either way, all I'm saying is that when you're out there talking to these girls, you have to spread it around. Do not talk to the same girl or the same group of girls for the whole night. Okay, you're going to mess your shit up. Because the thing is also, you know, you, it's, it's, it's on a, on a, you know, on this like objective level or just a level of, of it being something that's spreading the game around. You kind of, you kind of want to give yourself a better chance of getting things popping, but also by you doing that. It gives other people a chance to get shit popping. Follow me on this, okay? If you ever, you know, I, I've seen this happen one time where, one on one, one occasion where I'll be at a spot and I see a dude talking to a chick. You know, you understand what I'm saying? And I don't want to go and cock block, dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go and, you know, like, 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 interrupt a conversation but i could tell the chick is not really feeling him but she's just entertaining the conversation now if he would you know just keep it moving like you know say his piece and keep it moving then now once he moves then i'm gonna move in you understand what i'm saying so then if me and her click then that would be beneficial for me and her and then that other guy who just left her he'll find somebody else that he clicks with you understand what i'm saying so it, it, it basically, it, it, the flow of things is just better than you just, you know, sticking with one chick the whole damn night and handcuffing her. Now, the only exception, the only exception to this rule, I would say, is when you are talking to a chick and then physical shit starts popping off meaning you, y'all start making out and touching and all this other stuff then you could spend a little bit more time on her and then at that point you should just be trying to take her out the damn club and do you know go somewhere else with it you understand what i'm saying that type of shit but you know but generally do not talk to the same girls or group of girls all night all right so we're down to number one so number one is this is the, the the last mistake is following a girl around the club following a girl around the club so what does this mean this is kind of almost sort of related to the last one where i was talking about you know talking to the same girl the whole night but when, when we're talking about following a girl around the club what what a lot of guys do and this is what a lot of you know uh, dudes that are not used to approaching girls or talking to girls is that They'll talk to a girl and they'll have a conversation with her. And then the girl will probably be like, you know, she'll probably like excuse herself. Like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom or, you know, um, oh, my friend is over there. I'm going to, you know, talk to my friend. It was nice meeting you, whatever. And then the guy, he's kind of just standing around, you know, looking around. And then he sees the girl again sitting on the other side of the club. And then he goes back to her like 20 minutes later and he's like so hey what's up how's it going you know <laughs> and then and then like you know she's like oh i'm i'm good or whatever and then she introduces you to a friend or whatever and then her and her friend go to the bar the next thing you know your ass is like following her to the bar and you're talking to her again and the thing is that it's like a a, a safety net because you are comfortable you were comfortable talking with her so now you're kind of following her around you know what I'm saying? This is different than if you hollered at her and then you was hollering at other girls and then like, you know, two hours later you saw her in passing and then you just said, hey, what's up? What's going on? You know, that's, that's different. But if you, you know, if, if you talk to a chick and then 20 minutes later you're back talking to her and then another 15 minutes later you're all up in her face and her friend's face, it's just like, dude, like, stop following the chick around the damn club. You know what I mean? Like, go talk to other women. You understand? Because now she's looking at you like, yo, this guy is sweating me. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, and it's kind of awkward. You see what I mean? And, you know, I remember one time I was, I went to this, this bar with, with my girl or whatever. And this dude did that shit. He, you know, cause we, what, the way me and my girl go, we go to the spots and we, we're like, 
Like, I don't see my girl, and she don't see me until we ready to leave in most cases. Because I'm like, look, I'm about to go talk to these people. She's like, I'm going to go about to talk to these people. Because we like to, you know, spread it around and, and have, you know, and meet people and all that shit. So we not all up on each other's ass or whatever. So one time I was at this, we was at the spot. And this dude, he's talking to my girl. I see him talking to my girl. And then, you know, I see my girl go into the bathroom and this guy follows her and stands next to the bathroom and waits for her to get out the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, that's crazy. I'm like, that's crazy. And then she gets out the bathroom and she's looking at this dude and I'm sitting there kind of like laughing and shit because I'm, I'm just finding this whole shit hilarious. And then so she's talking to some other girl. My girl's talking to some other girl. And then he, you know, she's on the couch with some other girl and then he finds my girl, and then he ends up sitting next to her on the couch, and I'm like, this nigga, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this guy is hilarious, and then, and then he ends up buying my girl a drink, and then he went to the bathroom, and my girl gave me the drink when he went to the bathroom, and I'm like, see, this is what I was saying earlier, you buy a chick a drink, she give it to her man, but anyway, you know, so, I'm just looking at this guy, and, and he's just like a puppy dog following my girl, it was ridiculous, and so, you know, when you guys do this, you, you, it's, it's just not cool, man. Like there's so many chicks in the damn spot. What are you following one girl around? You have to stop that. You know what I mean? And it's, it's like a lot of guys, it's like that insecurity of, you know, like they, they feel like, you know, they, they don't, they don't, they're scared to do the approach again. So what happens is that what a lot of guys, they'll, muster up this courage to talk to a girl so then they finally talk to a girl like oh my god we're t i'm talking to her, i'm talking to her and then when the girl you know stops the conversation or she says i gotta go to the bathroom or my friend's here or i'm doing this and doing that once they stop that then it's like oh no it's done and now instead of starting a new conversation with a new girl they they latch onto the old girl because they're scared to start the new conversation because it took them so much energy and so much you know courage to start that first conversation with that chick you understand so you guys have to not uh <laughs> follow these chicks around in the club you feel what i'm saying or in a bar or whatever so that is pretty much it so I'm going to go through them real quick again. So number five is buying women drinks. Number four is hovering around women. Number three was giving the bartender too much attention. Number two was talking to the same girl or group of girls all night. And number one was following a girl around the club. All right. So those, you know, don't make those mistakes, guys. Seriously. Like you go there, talk to these chicks, you know, and, 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 and you know, if you want to get some sex, you know, make that happen. Spread spread the game around. Do just, you know, don't don't be on some following and talking to the same chick at all the night and buying girls drinks and all this other bullshit you feel what i'm saying so that is it and guys um if you have any questions hit me up at ask mr locario at gmail.com also if you want to learn more about how to you know get girls from the club back to your place make sure you join my membership program go to mr locario.com and you click on the members tab on the home page and you will get my audio program how to get girls from the club back to your place all right so make sure you guys get that all right so that is it i'm out of here remember the truth is inside you peace